Oh, it just doesn't end. What is going on? There's there's something that's happened on this road where there's people. I mean, this is so weird. People are standing off the side of the road, and people are like stopping, coming to a stop. I don't understand this at all. Is this a guy on a motorcycle or somebody? Somebody crash? I mean, I can't see anything. This this. So wow. So that was police officers running radar. This is beyond believable. And they're running radar with cars that are going five miles an hour. What has the world come to? What has the world come to? <laughs> Did you just see that? I was stuck in traffic forever as, as these, these guys are running radar. You know what's going on? Police. There's police standing in the grass running radar that is shutting down all the traffic. I'm in it right now. Wait till you come around the bottom of that bridge and you're going to see all these guys with, with radar guns in their hands running radar and stop and go traffic. Most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. It's backed up to the uh, exit back here at Tyson's Corner. Like, uh, exit ramp or whatever. Yeah, Route 7. Yeah. Yeah. When you come around that ramp to get onto Route 7, you're going to see a bunch of people just standing around the grass, and you have to wonder what is everybody doing standing around. There's like 10 people standing around. Of those 10 people, like 4 to 6 of them have radar guns in their hands, and they're shooting radar at stop and go traffic. <laughs> oh, why are they doing that? Hi, right, Julia. I'm just convinced that we, we live amongst the weirdest people of ever in times. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> what? I guess I guess people that that got COVID permanently damaged their brain. I guess. Hey, wait a second. We got COVID. <laughs> oh my gosh! Incredible. Incredible. I'm not surprised. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye, baby. Bye. <laughs> I think the COVID, the COVID definitely got to all of us. It, it's, I mean, yeah. I'm going to call 911. I'm going to call What is your emergency? Not emergency. I have a question. Who is running radar on Route 7 and 28, standing out in the grass with 10 or 12 people? Is this a prank? This makes no sense. There's no police cruisers around. There's people standing in the grass shooting guns like radar guns at dead stop traffic. So people are literally in bumper to bumper traffic and these male individuals, about a group of 10 or 12 of them, at least four to six of them have radar guns in their hands and are shooting like they're going for radar speed limit violations, but it's bumper to bumper traffic coming off of the uh, ramp from 28 to seven. Is this a prank? Has anybody called anybody? Hey, sir, 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 I need you to just take a deep breath for me and slow down a little bit. Okay. I'm going to get someone out there to check it out. Right, that's why I'm calling. I don't have any calls regarding it. Okay, I understand that. I'm going to get someone out there to check it out. Right. I just got to get through a couple questions first, okay? Okay. You said this was coming off This R was coming off of Belmont Ridge Road going on to the Leesburg Pike, is that correct? Coming off Route 28, when you come down Route 28, and you're going to get on Route 7 West. And it's the big overpass ramp that merges from two lanes to one lane and they get onto Route 7 to go west. Okay, I just want to clarify because it looks like from you're a good ways away from 28. I just yeah. want to verify the... Yeah, well I sat in traffic, so here's the thing. I was, I was driving on the road and I was thinking this makes no sense. Is this some prank? Is this, you know, anymore today, people make videos to get, you know, uh, clickbait, to do stupid things. And I, it made no sense of why there's people in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic on Route 28 to get onto Route 7. And there's police. People look like they're police officers. There's no cruisers around. There's no motorcycle bikes. And these people are just standing in the grass with what looks like radar guns you know, shooting the guns at people like they're getting get them in a speedy violation, but they're doing five miles an hour in bumper to bumper traffic. And I got to thinking, wow, is this a prank? 
And that's why I'm calling you guys. I have no idea. I'm just thinking out loud. Okay, so once again, I've been through a couple of questions so I can verify that I'm going to be sending someone to the right spot. So yeah. It's like you're right outside of Leesburg, and I want to make sure that you said this is coming off of 28 on the 7. Is that correct? That's correct. 28 okay. northbound as you exit off to go west on Route 7, not east, west. And it's the two lanes that merge down to one, and it's gridlock traffic on 28 near that area. And it's just, I thought there was a motorcycle accident, or I thought somebody's car was down the ravine. Because everybody's just standing. I've never ever seen in my life where there's 12 people standing around looking at people with a radar gun. What's the phone number you're calling from, sir? Are any weapons involved? No. All I saw was the handheld radar guns that they use to shoot radar. And I think I saw four of them. Saw two officers in one area and then two, and like two other. So, like, two individuals looked like officers. Other two individuals, I mean, like, like, who are these people? So, but keep in mind that I had to keep moving through the traffic, so I really just couldn't stop, if you know what I mean. And is anyone in danger right now? No. Okay. All right, I'm going to send someone out there to check it out. Okay, I'm great. Let you go. Thank you. Just call us back if you get any new information or need further assistance. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, how about that, huh? <laughs> I mean, was that? <laughs> yeah, Channel Tale. You know, anymore, anymore, is this some prank? Is this something, I mean, who knows? I don't know. If you saw it on my video, you don't have to look at my video to really see what I saw. And do I publish this? I think I should. <laughs> Tattletale, crybaby, Iceman, ratting out undercover police officers or radar, undercover radar. I don't know who the heck knows. It just doesn't end, man. It doesn't end. But I tell you what we do is we call the kid back. Let me call the kid back and see if she's seen the same thing I saw. Hey, uh, were they still there? Yes. They are. Are you, are you by that or are you still there? I'm fine. But did you see, like, a bunch of guys standing around yes. with, like, huh? Yes. Was there, like, 10 or 12 people? Yes. Did you see, like, two of the, two people holding radar guns? I saw six. Six people holding radar guns? Yes. Wow. So I called 911, and they're going to dispatch the police. Oh, well, what, what, what are they accomplishing? How can they run radar and, and stop and go traffic? <laughs> I mean, what are they going to accomplish? Oh, you were going five miles an hour down the ramp, and that's a violation because you're under the speed limit. Oh, you were tailgating. You were tailgating everybody. It's just kind of like I think they're just causing a traffic jam. Right, I think it's a prank. It's weird. Yeah, I think it's a prank. Oh, I see a cop going down there right now. Good. <laughs> I only wish I only wish you were further back <laughs> to see how that plays out. <laughs> was I it mean. was it a it was a sheriff or a state boy? A Loudoun or a sheriff. Yeah, Loudoun County Sheriff. Really? So do you have his lights on or just going down the road? He's going fast down the road. Really? 
wow, that'd be. Oh, I wish I can. Only, I wish the news breaks on this somewhere where I can find out what really happened. Why don't you ask them to call you back? Well, you know, because they'll probably think I'm part of the prank. <laughs> who knows? I, I don't know. Who knows? I mean, wait, what did you say to the dispatcher? I told him that it's the weirdest thing in the world that you that there's. There's police officers, what look like police officers, but they're not in per se uniform. They're not in a cruiser. They're not on a motorcycle. And they're running radar in bumper to bumper traffic where you're going five miles an hour. Why are they doing this? Is this real? And there's a ton of people standing around them. I mean, have you ever seen police officers running radar on the side of the road with a whole group of people hanging out with them? I never have. It's something weird's going on. Huh. What did the lady say? What was the guy? Well, he kept me. He, he kept on telling me to calm down and take a big breath. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yeah, you, oh, I thought it was kind of easy. Sir, sir, calm down. Take a big breath. Slow down. I can ask you some questions. <laughs> He's like, but you're not near that area. Because they can track you by your phone. You call 911. He's like, but you're not near there. You're near Leesburg. I'm like, right. I drove by there. But then he asked like numerous times, what, you know, what, what where is this? What, like, where is this all happening? So it was, you know, it was quite the conversation. And I've YouTubed all of this. So I've been videoing all of this on my YouTube channel <laughs> of the 911 call. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you don't let people talk sometimes. Really? I know. Really? Wow. Amazing. What's to eat at home? Oh, we got we got lots of stuff at home to eat. So we got hot dogs, we got turkey, we've got I don't know, we got plenty of food. Okay. But if you want to get something at the if you want to get something at the restaurant, I'm in bumper to bumper traffic. So in some ways I should have gone down the greenway. Be unbelievable. It's two o'clock, two fifteen. And this Route 15 is locked down, down. But this isn't that bad. Say what? You keep telling me it's not that bad. It's well, no, I'm on 15 now, and it's all backed up. At 2.15. Yeah, you tell me traffic isn't bad like it used to be. Right. Well, it's getting bad again. I told you that, and you make me sound like a wimp when I complain about it. Yeah, whatever. The life of living on the roads, right, kid? Okay, but... And mom's using my ways. <laughs> the mom won't get her own account. So she uses my ways so that my ways won't work here. Got all the trailer guys now. Trailer guy, trailer guy, truck guys. We all fight for a spot. Yeah, anyways. Okay, what's so the, why didn't you ask? Well, I don't really think the dispatch department has that authority, Julie. I don't think that these these people have a job. That, you know, know, I'm sure you know it gets wish. kind of personal. You know, I think that they that I if just, I was involved, they're just the police guys going to show up. That's how the police officer well, would be I calling just, me. Let me talk. <laughs> let me talk. Okay. to know what happened. Well, right. You can always turn around drive back down there and look. I don't feel like it. I have other things on my agenda. All right. All right, baby. It's kind of like David. David this morning, he's like, did Dad call Port Tarpon and tell them we're leaving? And I said, I'm not trying to sound rude here. But we have more important things going on than knowing where the boat is at the moment. Wow. Oh, well, I mean, but why would I do that? I don't know. We just asked. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, I said, we have, like, things going on up here. We're not fixated on what's going on with the boat there. Right. I don't have time to call Port Tarpon and tell them about all that. 
Yeah, right. Wow, the traffic. This is just such a nice area. Wow. I want to move here. Yeah. The person next to me wearing a, wearing a mask, traffic, weird people with radar. I can't get home to make a sandwich so I can get out to my horse and take care of him then go to the gym. Yeah, you got to tell David you have more important things to do, right? I already do. Okay. So, when will I ever be allowed to ride the motorcycle to the gym? I don't know. Around here, it's scary. I'm going to Lovettsville. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you have deer... Bears, raccoons, groundhogs. I know, I'm just saying it's not like I, like the LA fitness thing I get. I'm not, I got that. I never even asked to do that. Though. I don't know, we'll see, I'll think about it. Let me think about it. Okay. I'm just asking so I know. Yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. How's your day been? How did you get off the thing? How did you get off like that uh, oil thing? Oh, that was a project. I had to manually unload that. You know, it was cool guy, really cool guy. Like him, nice guy. And uh, yeah, that was a project. That was a lot of muscle. Was he white? <laughs> no, he's probably uh, from like Sudan or something. Probably. Maybe like, you know, South Africa or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice guy. Great guy. So you, Very nice you guy. Have to push it, you have to push it off? Yeah. Yeah, we had to get very creative. Then we got on the ground, we had to push it, and then we had to maneuver it. it was a lot of work. Yeah, it was back to the good old days when I was working in the oil industry, and uh, a lot of work. That took you back. Sure did. 40 years ago, close to 40 years ago, I was doing that when I was just a kid. Hard to believe. Wow. How old were you? I was like 21. So I'm almost 20. Right, I know that. Yeah, your birthday's coming up in June. Almost 20, and the next year I'll be 21. Wow, and the next year you'll be 22. Yep, and you're still my secretary. I sure am. <laughs> What's Kiefer Boy Why? doing? What's Kiefer Boy doing? Sleeping. Is he happy? I hate this road. Yeah, I know. Well, remember, in hindsight, we should have taken the Greenway through Waterford, but... I asked you if I could, and you were kind of like, no. Well, I didn't think that 2 o'clock in the afternoon that this road would be shut this down. This is about... This is what I talk about. So you're saying you don't, this road at 2 o'clock... every day. Really? Yeah. Wow. So yes. I usually come back in through Maryland. No. Every time I come back in from Virginia and I take this road, it's like this. And at 4.30, you're basically back at the light. Yeah, right. You're crying. At LA, Fit LA Fitness, when I was going, yeah. it was at the light. Wow. Dreadful. How'd you even go? Well, I took a shortcut. Oh, Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you say it, the traffic isn't bad. I get that. It's not what it used to be. But well, it's starting to get like that again. Like, you just make it sound like this is nothing. I think it's traffic. Right, it is. I don't disagree. Like, this will take 40 minutes to get home. Yep. 
I'm just now getting ready to go through Raspberry Falls. So where are you right now? Back at the way. Put it to at the two way to one way light at Battlefield. Yeah, I've been sitting here since uh like you know when I was talking about the David in the boat thing, that's how long I've been sitting in this area. Wow. Well, I'm moving now, so it's freed up for the moment. All right, baby. I'm take the... Say what? Nothing. All righty. I'll see you at home, okay? Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. There's the kid conversation. You ride around a car by yourself all day. You do kind of get lonely. Huh? You... <laughs> Is that why I talk so much? It's probably why I talk so much. There's not anybody to talk to. Besides this phone. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Wow. And I started my YouTube channel when COVID came in. And I got COVID twice. I guess that's why I am who I am now, right? Don't ask any more questions. You just want all the answers. Uh oh. What I just give away. And we're back. I'm back to the Ice Age TV bird compound. All my windows are closed in my bedroom. So the birds should be getting into my house tonight or today. Ah, it just doesn't end, does it? The Adventures of Ice Age TV. 